In this video, we will show you how to program ISOBUS functions on the Command Pro and E-Joystick. Currently, I've hooked up a loading wagon to my 6R and connected the ISOBUS connector. The loading wagon is AEF certified and therefore recognized by the command center. Let's open the setting manager by using the quick access button. By clicking on a specific button, 10, 11 or 12, a window pops up prompting the user to select a tractor or an ISOBUS function. I select ISOBUS and in the next screen select any of the functions from the list. In this case, I've assigned the lights. By default, rocker switches only allow pairs of tractor functions such as rising lowering, SCV extension retraction. In order to assign an ISOBUS function to the rocker switches A, B, C or D, press the Info button and activate the Command Pro Switch Independent mode for the desired rocker switch. Now you can assign an ISOBUS function to them. I'll use the pick up rising and lowering functions. In a similar way, I can assign any ISOBUS function from my implement to the E joystick buttons. To activate your settings, you need to activate Custom Mode by pressing on the lower left button. You also need to activate ISO AUX by pressing the center button. After the joystick is unlocked, the green LED indicates you can use it. Once I'm done, I'm going to save this configuration. Click on Save Load, Save Current Configuration and Confirm. Our recommendation is that you save it under your name and the implement name or brand. With that, you'll easily find it the next time you need it. Now I can control my ISOBUS implement from the Command Pro or E-Joystick in the cab. No need to buy additional screens or joysticks. To make sure your implement fulfills the current ISOBUS standards, you can check the AEF website. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or proposals for further tutorial videos, then leave a comment in the comment box and we'll try to make it happen.